Welcome back to the channel. Today is day 107 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to use until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. All right, let's take our first break. Oh, that was a good start. Oh, is my hand being chopped up? Yes. Right, let me just take a sit here. Because I do have a funny story for you. Do you remember yesterday? <laughs> When I was doing legs, I was doing squats and I didn't want to hurt myself doing squats. And I said this, I've been injured every single muscle, joint, you could possibly imagine. Well, <laughs> guess what happened yesterday? So last night after that, I was so excited, I was so happy that I didn't hurt myself, I didn't hurt my knees or my legs doing a leg exercise yesterday. Um, my fiance and I, we went to take my brother and my dad uh, back home because they, they came to visit quick and drop off their cars here because they're leaving the country. So, on our way back when we got home exiting the car like stepping out of the car I don't know what I did to my leg but when I put my foot down this sharp pain like right here I don't know how to explain it but it's like between the calves and the hamstring between the knee and the hamstring really sharp pain I was in pain all night long last night <laughs> was not fun. I was like, are you serious? So I could not stretch or extend my leg, like put it straight yesterday. So apparently going too crazy on the bicycle can hurt your hamstrings. <laughs> Plus a combination of probably what you will call overtraining. led to the somewhat injury of my either hamstring or behind the leg behind the knee i don't even know what it's called uh, but it's it feels like it's like the bottom of the hamstring 
So I took some pills and I've been taking it easy since last night. So this morning I woke up, I was a lot better uh, until I decided to go for a, a brisk walk, <laughs> like speedy walk. I wanted to go across the street a little bit faster than usual. And there it was, pain was back. So I guess I'll have to take a break, a little break from bicycle rides. I'll have to take it easy on leg day next time. On the next leg day. All right, time is up. Oh, I can't be climbing stuff like that either. That hurts still. All right, here we go. Yes, I gotta be careful what I do with this leg now. Whew. Which... You might change the dynamic of the exercise. Not tomorrow, but the day after tomorrow is when I was gonna do legs. It was, I was gonna do legs again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. We'll see how this hammies feel between now and then. I did not go for a bicycle ride last night, so that helped. I definitely need to let, let my legs rest, especially from the cardio. I've been going crazy with the cardio. Okay, not crazy, but for me, it's a crazy amount of cardio. If I go 30 minutes, an hour, an hour, an hour and a half on a bicycle. Like the least I can do, or the least I've been doing, it's one hour, not an hour. The least I've been doing is 30 minutes. That's like the days that I don't feel like doing anything. But usually it's an hour, an hour and some minutes, an hour and a half depending on how how much energy I have and what I'm actually doing but I guess I'll need to take a little bit of a break and then we'll take we'll go back to it slowly <laughs> start with 10 15 minutes 20 30 stuff like that all right time still ticking and talking about ticking the time uh, next exercise is dumbbell press and guess what I got <laughs> I got the uh, new clamps can't wait to see if they work I mean they better work <laughs> I don't want these plates to fall on my face <laughs> that's the last thing I want actually I, I don't want it to be not even close to be the last thing Oof. Oof. My head's all chopped off there. Just a couple more seconds. Just a couple more seconds to go, and here we go. Alright, let's get ready. And I forgot the thingies that goes here on my 
on the bench, but anyway. <sighs> Hopefully you can see me there. If not, I have another camera here that I think you'll be able to see. <sighs> All right, here we go. Oh. All right, let's take a break. <laughs> ah, that felt good. Felt real good. Ah, those push-ups at the beginning definitely helped. I'm not just slinging the weights up and down. I'm actually, I actually feel the exercise. I'm not sure if I am on frame there, but I think I am. <sighs> and yep, time still ticking. After this, uh, after this exercise, I'll go inside, hang out with the girls, and then We'll go to bed because I have to rest. There's a small chance I'll work in the morning. So, yeah. Time's still ticking, 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 like a ticking thing. Uh, now, if you have an idea of what, what I did to my leg, please let me know in the comment section below. If you're like me and you have no idea what happened, well, stay tuned. I might find out. <laughs> so I might find out. Uh, I'm glad it's only one leg, though. Not both. And I hope it's a temporary thing. Not a permanent thing, just like all my other injuries. Tendinitis, torn rotator cuffs lower back issues, knee problems, you can probably, see, I don't know if you can see there, my knee has a giant bone sticking out there, same thing on this side, my shoulders are bad, my back's bad, I have asthma, tendonitis here, probably with the elbows, I'm a wreck, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm lucky that I'm <laughs> That I can still function. Uh, oh, and yesterday I had pain on my neck. This morning was still eh, like I kind of still feel it, but definitely I'm 100%. Okay, maybe 100% now, but like 90% better than yesterday. And this little clamps, they they seem to work just fine. I'm impressed. Don't mind me getting blue stuff. I don't even know why I'm getting blue stuff. Talking about blue stuff, I should have made that wall blue, but I didn't want to have too many dark colors. I'm dark enough, anyway. All right, here we go. Time is up. And so are these weights. Here we go.
Ah. Woo. Ah. Woo. That was good. I can definitely feel it. All right. Time's taken for our next break. And the next exercise is going to be flies. Now, I know these exercises seem lame enough to be two sets of each thing, two sets of each exercise. And I agree, it's, it's not enough time under tension to actually build muscle. But as a newbie, <laughs> I have the privilege of doing barely anything and getting results from it. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm gonna stick to it until my newbie gains stop. I'm definitely looking to maximize my results. So, that being said, I'm trying to formulate how to uh, put more time under tension to each muscle group coming up soon I just don't want to go full force into it because I still have a life I still have to do stuff outside of this uh, exercise portion of my life so uh, I'll say after day 110 I will then uh, maybe 115 I'm not sure I guess you'll find out I will definitely uh, take a muscle group per day. And videos are still gonna be about this long because I'm still gonna be taking uh, the three minutes. I'll be still taking the three minutes break. So stay tuned because the exercises are gonna get harder. Alright, time is still ticking. I should have kept doing this and talking while I was doing it. Now it looks like I was just wasting time, which is technically what I was doing. Okay. Rush and break my neck Just because it turns up. <laughs> All right. So that's it. Now, let's go to Dumbo Flies. And as we found out last time, magic weight is 20 pounds. Here you go. Okay. 
another break. <laughs> Whew. <sighs> I'm such a wreck. Scars. Bones sticking out. <laughs> Pain everywhere. I am a mess. <sighs> yeah, but I'll keep on going. I'll keep on going. So I'm gonna have to slow down on the cardio part. Thanks to my left hammy. Hopefully it's not tendonitis. That will be really bad if it's a tendonitis back there. So the, the weirdest part is that I wasn't doing, I wasn't working out when it happened. <clears throat> I was just stepping out of my car. Anyway. <laughs> uh, dumbbell flies. 20 is good. After the flies, we're going to do uh, dips. I'll do dips and some kickbacks and I'm gonna kick it back with a twice. Because what did we say kickbacks were gonna be? Kickbacks, 20 pounds each. Yep. Got smart. <laughs> Wrote them down on a spreadsheet. On a Google spreadsheet. So I have access to it anywhere I go. Alright, just a, just a few more seconds to go. Just a few more seconds and we'll go back to the flies. And then we'll go to do some dips. All right, time is up. All right, let's get back to it. Here we go. like 20 pounds for flies is borderline too heavy but that is the perfect weight it's borderline almost there Whew. but it's just the right way it's not too much I don't think anyway all right we'll take another break and now triceps, let's, get, let's do some dips. After the dips, kickbacks, and we'll call it a day. Whew. Oh. Okay, I'm 
itchy. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'll move this thing back a little bit and hopefully you'll be able to see. Specs you a little bit. Just move this weights over here, which is cool now. I can roll them around. That silly wire clamps are not stopping it. Alright, time still ticking. Alright. Take some more medicine. I hope it's not tendonitis back there. I hope it goes away for good. Because that's a very uncomfortable pain there. Very uncomfortable. The last thing I wanted to do is limp as I walk. I know I'm getting old, but jeez. Not yet. Please, not yet. I'm still taking just a few more minutes. Sorry, a few more seconds. I can't talk right now, I guess. <sighs> now, hopefully, with the changes I'm gonna be making, I don't think I'll be able to work out the same muscle group twice in a week. I don't think. But we will try. If not, I'll just keep I'll just keep it to one muscle group per day and go on in a cycle. Non-stop for the rest of the challenge. And hopefully not overtrain. Because I feel like what happened to my leg is a result of overtraining. Uh, not taking any days off. Technically not taking any days off. Because even on my days off, I still do abs or core or some silly workout. Burpees. <laughs> All right. Too much talking, let's do it. All right, here we go. Let's take a break. That was a silly exercise there. I honestly didn't feel anything. <laughs> but I do know if you do too many of those, uh, <laughs> you might wake up in the middle of the night in pain. Like what happened to me? You know, I didn't do them like this. I actually did them on two chairs, on the back of two chairs, really deep dips. Yep, back in the day. <laughs> Which, by the way, I need to, not I need to, but I was looking into getting one of those cable pulleys to do tricep. They call tricep push downs. Yeah, push downs. Either with the rope or just with the metal bar straight down. 
and hook it somewhere on here. <laughs> at the same time, I don't know if I'm gonna do it or not. At the end of the day, this is my home gym. Sorry about my accent and my pronunciation. <laughs> my home gym, this is it. Here's where I have all my equipment. So if I get it, here's where I'm gonna install it, somewhere in here. <laughs> Now I don't want to put too many holes on my cross, whatever, then piece of wood on top. <laughs> so I might hang it right on where the pull bar is, but at the same time, I kind of need you to see what the heck I'm doing. So that being said, I don't know what it's gonna be. They're hanging it right here zoom right here or where the pull-up bar is I, don't know. I guess you'll find out if I get it because that's a good exercise for your triceps and there are other workouts you can do with it like uh, you can do pull downs or I don't know what kind of exercise this one is called with a straight bar straight down pushing down push down that type of exercise. All right, let's do some more dips and then we'll do the kickbacks and call it a day. All right, just a couple more seconds. I have to narrow my grip behind me. We'll be set. Not too much because I don't want to break my wrist. Here we go. that they're on the elbow again. Ah, oh, it sucks getting old. Getting old sucks. But it's better than not getting old at all. <laughs> all right, this is it with this bench. I'll get out of the way as soon as the time gets closer. And we'll do some kickbacks. Which I already have the weights right there, just waiting for me. The weights are waiting. Oh man, I like this now. I can <laughs> roll these weights, these dumbbells, I can roll them around. Then have the stupid clamps that stick out and nag on your clothes. And you're probably wondering why I'm still wearing these gloves and not the green ones and why I'm not complaining about the weights being cold. Um, <laughs> I did a little trick. So when I came in, I did use the green gloves to put the weights together, to put the dumbbells together. And then I put them in front of the space heater, all covered with a towel while I was setting the cameras up so I was in the cameras and getting ready for today's exercise they were getting some heat so by the time I was done and hit record it record oh, I don't even know what the button is called when I hit recording on the cameras they were not cold anymore I mean, they were a little chilly, but not like freezing cold like they are used to, like they used to. So yeah, no, they are just cold, but not freezing cold. 
That's why I'm not complaining about the weight. No, about how cold they are. <laughs> uh, no, don't get me wrong. It's in the. It's below 30 degrees right now. There's still snow from the snowstorm that happened in December. In this January. It doesn't seem to be melting, by the way. <laughs> yeah, there's a pile right outside, right behind this door. <laughs> right behind this door, there's a pile of snow that refuses to melt. It refuses to melt. Alright. I want to keep this thing nearby because uh, just because I want to sit all right all right here we go That's a lot of swinging around. <sighs> All right, taking our last break. But yeah, that was a lot of swinging around those weights. <sighs> I'm not gonna take any weight off of it. Leave it as it is. And hopefully, I'll get to actually kick those weights back without compromising on the form I hope I get there before I hurt myself <laughs> luckily as a newbie a beginner I have the privilege of getting gains from any exercise I do even with bad form. <sighs> the next set, I'll try to do a better exercise. <sighs> Not worry too much about the number. <sighs> All right, time's still ticking. Yeah, I'm getting there. So I think I'm gonna have to. Oh, well, I don't know. I'll wait until I weigh myself again, and maybe a month from now. <laughs> a month from now, I'll be okay. Let's do it at 100. Day 120, 121, maybe 130. Yeah, maybe around there. I'll weigh myself again and I'll see where I am. Because this is the thing. If I lose too much weight, I might not be able to lift as much as I want to. However, I don't need to lift much to gain a muscle gain. I just want to be, still be strong. Because my job is a little bit physical. It's a tad physical. So I need to be able to be strong too. Even though I'm not strong at all. I'm, I'm a wimp. I just try to get strong. Nothing wrong with that. So I'll weigh myself again. And I'll see where I am standing. Might have to gain more weight. So... If I'm losing two pounds a week by just increasing exercise, I 
might have to eat more and not be on a diet. Uh, might have to be on a diet to lose the last couple of pounds so I can have a visible six pack. But other than that, uh, I think I think I don't have to watch too much what I eat. Just watch myself what I look like. If I'm gaining fat or not. Alright, time is up. Last, very last set. Alright. Alright, here we go. Well, that's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.